Welcome back to another episode of Working for the Van. We are still in Maine, still in Cadia National Park, hiking the Beehive Trail today. Shall we? 6.37 a.m. All right, well, it looks like the first, uh, or actually I know the first, first part of the trail is just kind of some rocks through the woods, so we'll check in when the fun starts. Oh, see the sun coming through? Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> so we're climbing up to the top of there. This little section here, it's pretty gnarly. Morning. So we hiked about 0.2 miles to this point. Now we're heading up the Beehive Trail and what's over here? Warning. This trail follows a nearly vertical route with exposed cliffs that requires climbing on iron rungs. Falls on this mountain have resulted in serious injury or death. Small children and people with the fear of heights should not use this trail. You feeling good? There's another trail here called the Precipice. It's technically on the same mountain. Oops, sorry. But it's closed because peregrine falcons are nesting, so. So we do the beehive. You ready? Oh, oh yeah. Really? Yeah, but we're doing it. Alrighty. Kate doesn't love heights, so. Fun fact. I'm just gonna tell everybody. Yep, go for it. It's embarrassing. Okay. About three years ago now, I guess. Three years ago. I was 27. So old enough to have my shit together. Yeah. Not, I do not. I cried on the top of a bear. So. <laughs> yeah, I, well, for, I forgot about this story. Well, we got stopped to let people on, I guess. Stopped. Dead at the, <laughs> dead at the top. Stopped. Holy hell. Well. Full blown panic. Hopefully oh that, uh, okay, well, uh, yikes. Okay, well, we're gonna see how this goes. Oh, see, there's people down there at Sand Beach. Yeah. Smells good. Ocean mist. Sick. <laughs> like the candle ocean mist. Yeah. To the right, yep. Hey, look at this. This is the part that I don't like. Oh, I see. Ooh. I don't like that. I know. I really don't like that. I know. It's the worst part. It's the scariest part in the, on the whole hike, in my opinion. Oh yeah, it's weird, huh? Turn. Can you guys hear the churn of the lobster boat off in the distance? Lobster boats and bell buoys. 
constant things heard in Acadia. Oh yeah, see the rungs over there? Oh boy. Ah. I'm good, I feel totally safe. I don't. Okay. Yeah, so I would go up. I would just yeah climb up where you are. I hope the camera shows how steep and how it really looks. Just follow the rungs right on up. Just went woo. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm not even close to the edge and it makes my stomach hurt. Well, we're pretty close. I mean, you're three feet from the edge. I don't know what, what defies close to the edge, but to me, three feet is fairly close. Oh boy, here we go. That's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, these climbs are fun. Jeez. Wow, it got windy right here. All right, that's basically all the fun part of this hike. 520 feet, Beehive Summit. Maybe first of the day, maybe, I don't know. It's like seven o'clock. Look at that little notch right there. Sat here for about 20 minutes enjoying the view, taking it in. The bell buoys sound so nice. And now we just finished the loop and the way back down is I believe just normal basic hiking might record some stuff might not but the beehive it's awesome what do you think of the beehive uh -huh. how many thumbs up dos, dos? Uh, 0.6 back to sand beach parking lot and it's 720 not a bad way to start the day. What is it, a Tuesday? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Baby, we live in a van. We don't need to know what It's Wednesday. Is. I'm just <laughs> letting everybody know. It's Wednesday. It's Se Wednesday. 7.20 a.m. What were you doing Wednesday at 7.20 a.m.? Sleeping? Waking up? Going to work? Brushing your teeth? Probably not on top of a mountain. So. Or you might be. Or you might be. And if you are, cheers. And that is a full hike completion. Now we have a uh, whole rest of our day to enjoy. So we're gonna see what happens. I think we're doing some shopping. Shopping errands, maybe some fun things, who knows? We need to fill our water. Oh, we need to fill water. Oh my God, that's becoming... I mean, it's like every four days, really. It feels it... like it's every other day. It's not, I know. it's not. We just, days are blending together. Solar. Ooh, big news, actually. Oh yeah. 
battery should show up today. So fingers crossed, everything works with that. And we get power back in the back of our van and can enjoy those lights, charge our stuff while sitting and everything like that, so. My phone's been dead for 50% of Travi. Dang, sometimes he sits right there, but he's, he's, he's not there right now. Like yeah, we left, we, we, we left the bed out, so he's probably sleeping in the middle of the bed. Well. He's back here. Following up with some post-hike uh, overnight oats. Second day in a row. Nutella. Nutella. So I'm doing strawberries and Nutella in mine, so. Gonna enjoy these. Woo! That's me and James. James is one of our best friends. Hello. He's so cute. Look at him. Update. We got sunglasses. Good news. Battery. And we officially have our solar power generator back installed. For those of you joining WFTV a little bit late, um, we had one of these before, um, and about two weeks ago, the AC port here to plug in AC plugs um, just stopped working. So it's been a long process and a long waiting game of waiting for this return to be shipped and get my get the new battery shipped. So it feels pretty good. So basically, how this works, but we have a solar panel up here on top of the van that we attached ourselves, Wires going down right here. And that wire comes out right here. Um, so then this battery takes that solar power in, holds it, and then will invert it to usable power for us right here. And this battery itself holds 518 watts, Jackery Explorer 500. New light, hung. Towel bar, hung, kitty litter, changed. And now time for water. Van jobs. Oh, Travis is trying out the new litter. It's nice and soft. Oh. It is officially dinner time here <clears throat> in the van. Tonight we are, Travis is also in his cat carrier, which he's not too happy about. But we can open the doors, so not have to worry about him going out, because now all he wants to do is play outside. Tonight. We are featuring uh, butter flavor instant mashed potatoes. And I believe someone is making us quesadillas. Yes, I am. Well, looks like my water's boiling. It's wild how this just turns into mashed potatoes. It's not bad. Ooh, that's what it means. You step it up now to make the quesadillas? Yep. Okay. Put this little thing of cheese in there. It's gonna be the Mark special. Cheesy potatoes. So this is my contribution to dinner. I contributed instant mashed potatoes. Catherine is now stepping up to the stove. Thanks, bud. For quesadillas. Gia is cooking. Oh boy. It's oh, it's burning, oh, it's burning, burning quick. Burning. Oh, you better flip it. These pans get super hot, super fast. Very hard to cook. 
I'll but it's interesting. Oh, We're also eating carrots. Getting our greens in. Or, uh, excuse me, our... Oh, damn. Interesting, fun, quick. Here, you can have that one. That one's less burnt. Give me, give me a flip on yours. No. Yeah, flip it. You don't want to see give the it other a flip. side. Whoops. I'm a bit burnt, but honestly, super good. Dish time. Dish time. Look at this, though. Toilet paper holder. Microfiber towels. What a blessing they a dish are. Rack. That's not dish rack. That's not a dish towel. A dish towel. A dish towel. Dish towel rack. Towel rack. Towel dish. Dish towel rack. Nice. Dish towel bar. Three nights. Three nights in a row making oats. Overnight oats. Mm -hmm. Someone's getting their recipe down. Precision pouring. Absolutely precision. Yeah, we're putting cold brew in it. Add some stoke. Everyone needs a little stoke. It's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Really good. It's really, really All good. Alright, and then I'm going to pop these in the cooler and you guys will see these in the next video. I just woke up from falling asleep with the lights on because it's so nice. Everyone likes the lights. Yes, everyone loves the lights. We are enjoying the lights. Another great day. Beehive, check. Lights, check. Windy as heck. Yeah. First very windy night out there in the van. Or excuse me, out first very windy night outside in the van. Should be a fun night. I need my nostril spray. Okay. Afrin. So You're funny.